be a presentation, but uh, I'll rather share my experiences because uh, at the same, experience is probably more valuable than knowledge because uh, when knowledge can ditch you, experience never ditches you. Now, 15 minutes presentation is a messy one because Kennedy was once asked that, uh, can you come and speak at an event? And uh, how many days notice you require? So Kennedy knows how much I have to speak. So the person who went to invite him, well, what do you mean how much uh, uh, time you are required to speak? He told, no, if uh, I'm required to speak for 10 minutes, I require 30 days notice. If I'm required to speak for half an hour, I require 10 days notice. If I am required to speak for one hour, I require three days notice. If there is no time limit, I can start right now. <laughs> <laughs> so brevity being the soul of wit, you have to collect all your wits to speak in 15 minutes. Anyway, so uh, first thing is that I think our friend here told that uh, I was thinking how to, and he gave a clue. He told, uh, if there are driverless cars, what will happen to the license? <laughs> Precisely, that summarizes today's dilemma. Things will be disrupted. The infrastructure that we have created for licensing, and suddenly somebody says, there is a driverless car. You give license to the God, or you give license to the car, or you give license to Toyota, or you give license to You know, a few days back, uh, you know, the then chairman of SBI, I was back in London uh, after a four year stint and uh, I was heading international and she called me and told that, you know, I have been told that IT will define what is the world lead IT. Good enough. I always tell about old foggies like me that we are old, old bullocks who are used on any cart. So it is carrying, you know, Good and carrying human beings doesn't matter. Speed may be different, but we will pull nevertheless. <coughs> so, few thoughts I want to give today. <coughs> Banking, as they say, is the precursor of how things will come. Again, Ron Chernow, who wrote a book called uh, Death of a Banker, quite some time back. He wrote that in the 19th century England, two people, two categories of people become very, very powerful. Bankers and doctors. Not because they had a lot of money. Because they knew the secrets of other people. Bankers are the trust holders of society. And what happens in banking system today probably will happen in other systems tomorrow. So as we speak of, you know, now good that uh, I don't, I didn't have any time as you know, you know, a lot of things are happening in financial market including slowdown, incentive, mergers, acquisition. I don't have five minutes but Mr. Sao is very, very persuasive. He told that no, he must come and speak. And a speaker loves to speak. <coughs> first thing is that, first disruption that is happening is that companies will not require CIOs because the CEO will be the CIO. In SBI, I was spending 6,000 crores a year. Here probably I am spending 700 crores or 800 crores. Some companies may be spending 7 crores or some people may be spending 7 lakhs. Doesn't matter. The first disruption that is happening is 
IT digital security is becoming the survival skills. No one is allowed, no one can afford to tell that security is CISO's job or IT is CIO's job. Second thing is that enterprise security. What is security? Security is protecting against risks. And when the risk is so very pervasive, if risk for a bank is defined as credit risk, liquidity risk, reputation risk, and every damn thing is managed through algorithms and you cannot escape the words like uh, you know what they call privacy robotic process automation they are they are used as if you are you, you calling your uh, you know maid to serve a cup of tea so if that happens the concept of enterprise security is again disrupted Gone are the words when you say, what is security? Oh, password protection. Oh, privacy. Oh, data protection. Data leakage, data hacking. No. As leaders in your own rights, you are managing enterprises, you are managing the IT vertical, somebody is managing this, somebody is managing that. Enterprise security will get intertwined with Business security, strategic security, competitive security, branch security, capital security, positioning security, human security. I think our friend from uh, the automobile sector told about this. Is this the bell for me? <laughs> no, thank you. Thank you. But, uh, no, I am also very conscious of time, so uh, please tell me, you know, just when I am getting too late, because uh, as I speak, uh, many times, uh, people, because I am in the public speaking circuit and also write, you know, uh, in newspapers extensively, few days back I wrote an article <coughs> in Economic Times. What is this shift in security paradigm? And I, you know, in one of the latest interviews in CNBC TV, Lata uh, Venkatesh told me that Shumapatri was making quite a controversial statement that, you know, uh, cyber security uh, incidents are unavoidable. It is true. So now cyber security, I think our friend here told that, you know, what you will do, you know, you are spending so much of money, whether you have anything left to eat and do business. In, if you spend all your money in securing data required, unrequired and all. So Gartner has told an interesting concept and which I request all of you. I practiced it in SBI and wherever I sat in the global <coughs> advisory boards of many companies including Oracle and all I used to tell this. Identification of crown jewels. Your business critical applications must be prioritized by you yourself. No consultant will be able to help. Many times the consultants and others come back and tell me that you sir, you know, you are telling something which may impair our business. But I am of the opinion that the strength of the consultant is directly proportional to the strength of the in-house team. The quality of the in-house team defines the outcome of the consultant engagement. So if that be so, the first priority in enterprise security is probably reimagining your security paradigm in saying that what are the your security preparedness will be defined by the fact that what is the time you take to get up and running. And from there, 
which in today's world you may call agile, you may call outcome based planning, you may come, you know, RPO, RTO, or whatever. Taking pencil and putting it to paper and doing it yourself and defining the crown jewels of your enterprise is the first step in enterprise security. And from there will follow your vendor management paradigm, your project management paradigm, your appropriate technology, your suitable manpower, your security process, your escalation matrix. Whether you deploy artificial intelligence or whether you deploy WhatsApp, doesn't matter. I've done it in my own two hands, practical expertise. Second thing in enterprise security is, you know, always thinking that what are the, you know, connectedness because connectedness is something which today's enterprises do not, the silo mentality of enterprise is the biggest killer. In modern day management, they say strategy is very good, but culture eats strategy for breakfast. So the connectedness between the organization, the concepts which are modern are good to listen in gatherings like this. But most of the organization often wants to stay in their comfort zone and they want that the new initiatives should be discussed in forums like this and should not go into their work domain. Defining the connectedness, understanding the connectedness is again another important thing. Next thing is that, you know, again as I told, I will not go deep into the presentation because the mood here seems to be that, you know, learn from the experience. Innovation in security is inevitable. As all of you know, and I have seen again as I relate back to my days in my decades of posting abroad and uh, you know, interacting with various things, there are four types of innovation. Incremental innovation, productive innovation, platform innovation, and disruptive innovation. We always think that there should be something disruptive. When you go to innovation sessions, you know, people will talk about Uber, people will talk about Airbnb, people will talk about Amazon. Nonsense. One in a million will be Uber. But every day I innovate, I go to office, I do data analytics. I find that, you know, out of my past experience, this route gets congested between 9.10 and 9.20, so I take an alternate route, innovation on the go. Incremental innovation, please do not forget in your enterprises. Many times in search of the big beast, we ignore the small and beautiful. A friend who began with CIO, I miss, you know, I have given this advice in whatever, wherever I speak and whenever I write. I give sometimes, you know, me. So, one that I have benefited in my life is continuous incremental innovation. The value of incremental innovation should not be lost in search of disruptive innovation. Doing great things is very good, very sexy. Leaders like yourselves in security or wherever, doing the small innovations is important. Again, if you look at the curve of enterprise security and uh, you look at it, you know, typically the innovation, first movers in innovation space are media, then telecom, then banking, and late movers are there. And inevitably, 
लेट मूवर्स है लेट मूवर एडवांटेज सो डोंट एवर हेजिटेट टू फॉलो ए लीडर वेरी वेरी कॉस्ट एफिशियंट इंक्रीमेंटल इनोवेशन एंड कस्टमाइजेशन इज ऑलवेज इजी You don't have to reinvent the wheel. You don't have to burn money like State Bank of India in discovering something. Those are for the deep pocket guys or people who are, you know, going for second round of funding or third round of funding. They will have to keep on. For most of the brick and mortar enterprises like ourselves or people who will be your consumer, I understand that there are some fintech people. They are looking for not boiling the ocean. <laughs> They are looking, you know, Satya Nadella in his book, he says, hit a press. He says there are basically four things for which any IT project will be there. First is employee engagement, customer experience enhancement, doing new products and services, and improving productivity. If that be so, 90% of the IT expenditure in traditional IT um, traditional enterprises, whether for security or for anything else, will happen in these spaces. In one of the HP's conferences, I told ROI is required. What is ROI? Return on innovation. <coughs> innovation may be very cool, very attractive to begin with. After three or meetings, three or four meetings, the boards will ask, "What the hell are you doing?" So, do not forget the late mover advantage. Do not forget the value of incremental innovation. Next thing that all of you should remember. In the disruption that is happening, you know, which happened to the banks quite early in this market, and it will happen more and more. The value chain will be federated. The delivery chain will be federated. It is getting federated. It is it is something beyond the expanded thing that we know as omni-channel. We used to say somebody will originate a transaction in his mobile, he may do half of it uh, on his tab, he may complete it in his uh, laptop or in the desktop in the office and he should get similar experiences. Now the transaction can be originated in a, you know, in a post machine, in the merchant. The computer that is there in the car, you know, today the dashboard is, is kind of a computer. It could be half completed there. And the convergence of applications is what is defining what we call the challenges of enterprise security. What do you do? You know, they say that you know Alibaba's success in China was primarily predicated upon the arbitrage that was available in the regulatory regimes. They say that the American anti-doping regime is unable to detect the herbs that are given as performance boosters to Chinese athletes. The hackers that we see will be ahead, will be in the game of arbitrage of knowledge. So, ethical hacking in security, ethical hacking in the newer paradigms which are defining the federated structure of <coughs> delivery. NPCI is the, is the switch operator or IDRBT as the switch operator or Google and Amazon as the data providers are all part of this federal structure. Some are highly regulated, banks may be highly regulated, some are regulation light, and 
fact, all of them are coexisting, are playing, are you know, regulators are trying to do the catch-up game. All part of the game. They are not allowed to complain. Because willy-nilly we also have advantaged from this system. Another thing. So ethical hacking, self-hacking, licensed hacking is going to be the next challenge which must be built into the enterprise security architecture. If you have not done it, start doing it. The last thing before I conclude I want to tell is as we travel this path of going towards this, <coughs> open source as a treasure trove of experimentation, <coughs> whether you are a CEO, whether you are a CIO, whether you are a CFO, as I told, technology is so integral, enterprise security will be defined as enterprise security. And enterprise security is not enterprise IT security or enterprise digital security. Friend was telling 1000 uh, racks data center in my own two hands in Hyderabad. I set up a 1200 rack data center for SBI and the other one trying to set up 1500 data centers will be part of the federated system. So as this goes there, and when security you know, on the system will translate into security of the universe, because you do not know where your data is getting originated, where transaction is getting originated, where it is interacting with something else. Easy to say, we must understand it. Another thing that I want to tell you, this I learned from a very humble government servant of Haryana, who I met, you know, one of the speaking sessions, he came and interacted with me after my speech. He told one of the keys to survival is trivializing the exotic. Many times we get floored by the word, by the jargon. <coughs> At the base of it, they are hyperboles, they are, they are they, what they are. Try to understand these things. Blockchain, I have written extensively. Please do not get floored by this. All the new te technologies are available in the open source system for experimentation. Nothing happens to your system if you start experimenting it. Please create small groups of one, two, or three people who can experiment with it. Experimentation as a method of survival must be embraced by you. Thank you very much.